It's nice here. Man, I better get a government pension for this. Deer is meant to be skittish as shit. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? Is that street legal? Ah, who cares?
looking sharp. This is the same stuff they use on armored cars, you know. Thanks. on you. We will make you pure. We will rule! Oh, thank God. That was so Reloaded. awful. Did you hear what they were saying to me? Would you give me a ride home? I, I don't want to walk back on my own. Yeah, I don't blame you. Come on. Let's get out of here. Thank you. I'm staying just off Sonora Road by the Redwood Lights track. So what the hell was that? Who were those guys? I've no idea. I was just talking to a friend on my cell phone when I heard them behind me, yelling about the Industrial Revolution and the Internet. At first I thought, oh, a couple of senile old-timers must have wandered out of the nursing home. So I'm like, did you get lost? Is there anyone I can call? Then? They start really shouting at me how I'm dead wood, that I've failed as a generation. And next thing you know, they've got me pinned down on the ground. Terrifying. It was so disgusting. They stink like spoiled ham, crispy hands all over me, ranting about how technology is evil. Yeah, except they was in a car. Exactly. I I'm thinking... Maybe they're like those weird religious folks who live out east that you see on MeTV, who publicly reject modern life, but secretly drive to the farmer's market in a pickup and era sneakers. Rejecting television by being on television? Right. But then they start going on about a manifesto. Here we are. Thank you so much. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along.
Too close. Hello, boy. What's that? You said a man is stuck in a tree. And he needs my help? Part of you would rather leave him there because he's a bit of a dick. But you're doing your civic duty. Okay, shit, show me. I've officially lost my damn mind. What, boy? He just jumped out of a fucking helicopter. His parachute fell to open? And now you kind of wish he'd missed a tree. But morality is a human construct and you are not hardwired to think that way? I can't believe I'm getting smart talked by a fucking dog. Say what? Wait, you talking about my kind of bitches or yours? This shit is getting weird now, man. Man, you wasn't wrong. Look at this fool. Hey, bro! <laughs> you mind giving me a hand here? Man, that's a cool-ass dog you got, homie. What dog? That dog that saved your, saved your ass, man. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. What the fuck? Hello? <laughs> when you got a moment. Seriously. My bad, dog. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh, man, that was wild. <sighs> Woo! See, I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I'm a control junkie. Yeah, that parachuting is intense, man. And hey! If along the way I figure out what it means to be alive, well then, let's just make this a little spiritual and say I'm on a thought journey. <laughs> shit, nothing helps me think clearly like shit myself while I'm heading towards a certain death, man. Then you're up for it. Not really, dog. Shit, I respect gravity. Oh, I knew you were a pussy. <laughs> Come on. It's safe, I promise you. Safer than driving a car. The only way it's safer is if you drive a car to a fucking airplane. Come on, let's go. my pilot! Let's next level this shit! Yo, Jeff! You wanna take a bit longer next time, dude? Fuck, I gotta learn how to say no. You take the left side, man! Here's a headset to keep in touch with the Dominator, and a parachute to stop you from dying. All aboard? Okay, Jeff, round two. Set her up. Roger that, buddy. Uh, you sure you're okay? That last one was in fucking sight. Dude, how crazy was that? I was dropping like a dot-com stock in late 2000. Cat out of the window. Tell me you got it, please. Tell me you got it. We gotta upload that shit right now. I'm uh, sorry, man. It's all out of focus. I couldn't keep you in the shot. I, I thought you'd fret for show. Oh, man, I could hear myself screaming. But inside, I was ice cold. Totally present in the moment. Like, for a few seconds, I saw everything, and it all made sense. You know what I mean? Like, everything. Shit, man, until your crazy ass hit that tree. Dude, did I choose the tree, or did the tree choose me? You know what I'm saying? It's the journey that matters, not the destination. Am I right, Jeff? Dominator, buddy. You are the Dominator. Because in the case of skydiving, shit, the destination seems kind of important to me. So <laughs> what syllabus did you rock? AFS? You all good with the PLS? It's like what? What's your training background? Man, I found your crazy dumbass in the tree, and now I'm here. That's all the background your ass needs to know. Virgin in the drop zone! Time in in the hole! <laughs> no, but seriously, I got you. Don't sweat it. It's not rocket science. Although, it is, in some ways. But I'm talking metaphorically. Like, like you with that dog. I didn't get that, by the way. Wait, wait, hold on, man. So you telling me you had no memory of a fucking dog? <laughs> there you go again. It's off kilter, and I think that about you. But we 
page, bud. Strategize and synergize. You feel me? Like the double helix. Man, all I'm feeling is regret on a whole new level. Take the tampon out, bro. It's like riding a bike, except at 100 miles an hour head first towards the ground. You can't go wrong. Am I right, Chap? Statistically, safer than having a wank. What the hell?
one down the mountain by the protein shake. Bro, I know this bike. I know this body. I was operating at the perimeter of my parameters, and you were being reckless! And now you're having a winch. A what? Listen, meet me by the airport when you're grown up here, all right? 